Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Hangouts. And Google Hangouts has three primary features. You can use it to send text messages using photos as attachments, just like any other text message app. You could use it to video chat. That's probably the most useful option. You could have 10 people in a room for video chatting. It's great for holding small classrooms or meetings. And you could also make phone calls with it. So you could actually use someone's phone number. And for US and Canada, it's actually free to do that. And if you're making international calls in different countries from country to country, there might be a small fee attached to making phone calls. But you could also video chat for free and have the microphone turn on and the video turn off. So you could do voice calls that way. There are also apps for Google Hangouts on Android and iOS. In this video, I'm not gonna focus on those at all. I'm gonna focus on the website version of Google Hangouts that everybody has access to without having to download an app. I'll make a separate video for the app version and I'll put it in the description below this video. Now, the easiest way to go to Google Hangouts is by going to hangouts.google.com and make sure you log into your Google or Gmail account. Now, if you don't have one, you should make a Google account. This does require you to do that. So once you do that, you will come to this page. You could also press these squares over here and all the Google services show up here. So you could drag Hangout right here to somewhere near the top of where you would use that app most of the time. So you could just press that and then that will bring you to this page right here where I'm at. This is also available on the side of Gmail, but I like to just come over here. It makes the process a lot easier than using it inside of Gmail. This is where you would see it on Gmail when you go to gmail.com, for example, where you could add contacts, have conversations and phone calls right here on the side. But for this video, I'm gonna focus on hangouts.google.com. So the three main features, video calls, phone calls, and messages are what I'm going to cover here one at a time. We'll start with messages. Now, if you press messages, you will get this sidebar here and you could enter name, email, or phone number to start a message. So I'm gonna go ahead and type a name here. You could also start with a group if you wanna add multiple people, but you could always add people after you invite one person. So I just typed someone's name here. Again, if you know their email or phone number, it's a little bit easier. If they're not on Hangout already, it will send them an invite to join Hangout. And if they don't show up on Hangouts, means they've never used Hangouts before, you'll have to type in their email here if you don't see them on the search bar here. But in this case, I do, so I'm gonna go ahead and invite this person. And that will initiate this box right here where I could start my chat on the bottom. So let me say hello here, and they responded right there. So that's how you would initiate a text-based message conversation. And you could press the plus sign up here if you wanted to add more people and turn this into a group. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. And you could press this to video chat with this one individual. I'm gonna show you that under the video call, but to initiate it under the message that's over here, I'll show you all about that in a second. You could also on the very bottom, press this option right here, the photos option, and you could access your web camera or upload photos here or from your photo library, you could send it from anywhere and it will pop up in this message box. So let me go ahead and send a photo. And as you can see, just like that, they've received the photo when I pressed enter. So now let me show you the video call. And then lastly, I'll show you voice call. So if I press video call here, it's gonna initiate a video call, but it's different from this chat call. So I'll still have to initiate a conversation and invite someone or send them a URL here. So again, I'll invite Jordan here one more time and I'll press invite. Now this is different than this chat box here. They're gonna have to agree to join me in the video chat. And it looks like they joined me, hey. And here, the few things I wanna show you is I could go ahead and turn off my camera here. So my camera is gone, I could still see them. I could go ahead and mute myself. I just muted myself, now they can't hear me, but they could still see me. Or I could do the combination of the two and I could hang up in the center. I could also press this on the left side to send them a message. And everybody on this call, if I added more people, will send, will receive that message. And on top, if I press this plus icon, I could add more people and turn this into a group hangout. And then you have some settings over here, like sharing your screen or going full screen. I'm gonna go ahead and hang up. See ya.
and that will end the call the video call right there so now that's the main thing people use this for to have up to 10 people in that world if you want to do more than 10 people another option is using a software called zoom at zoom.us that will let you have up to 100 people and up to a thousand people with the paid version let me finally show you the phone call option let me press that one and again it's the same thing every time you press one of these it will have you create a new conversation if you didn't want to do that every time in one of these options you could just go ahead and video chat as part of the message but for phone calls let me start a new conversation again every time you want to do that it will be on this side you could also press the plus sign and it's going to show you how to sign up for a google voice number too if you don't have a phone number to start with so again let me type out jordan's phone number here and i'll call him and i'll go ahead and call that number and over here is calling and now i'm calling a cell phone in the us so this is going to be free for me and it's going to tell you right here but some other international calls might charge you a little bit of money Hello? hey can you hear me yeah okay so this phone call works i could mute myself again i could hang up here or I could press some of these settings to change my microphone. Now, if you're using this for the Hangout option with the video, or if you're using this to teach or hold meetings, I recommend getting a mic like I have here. I'll put a link to this in the description below. You could pick this up. It's a USB mic, and it makes your audio sound a lot better. I'm using it right now to record this video. I'm going to go ahead and cancel, and see you later. I'll hang up this call. And finally, the few options I haven't talked about yet. If you press these three dots, again, you could see all the things that we went through here, like adding contacts, conversations, phone calls. But there's also apps here you could download. So you could do Android or iOS. And you could basically have people on the Android or iOS app communicate with you on this browser version of Hangout. So it's a really nice way to kind of cross communicate between different devices. And I'll make a separate video about the iOS version of this Google Hangouts. Now, I hope one of the features of Google Hangout could be beneficial for you. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos just like this one. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.